Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day. Today I'm going to be sharing a super, super motivating cleaning video, but also we are going to be decorating a little bit later on once we get everything cleaned up. And then I'm also going to be taking you guys downstairs into our basement and sharing a new update. We have had a ton of work down there since I've talked to you guys about it, so I wanted to make sure to include that in this video. Sometimes it can feel really overwhelming when you have such a big mess like this but you just need to take it one step at a time. So the first thing I wanted to do was clear off the table and move everything into the kitchen and then start putting away leftovers and then moving the empty dishes over to the sink. You gotta be my someone. So I actually filmed this right after having like an early Thanksgiving dinner. It was actually on the day that I had filmed cooking all of the Thanksgiving meals that I shared in that video for you guys. I will link it up above if you guys missed that, but I figured that would give me a great opportunity to basically share a Thanksgiving clean with me and give you guys all the motivation to clean up your holiday messes, but of course you can definitely use this for any time. So as you can see, Kyle and I are just starting out in the kitchen. This is something that we usually do together. A lot of times you guys see just me cleaning, but he definitely definitely pitches in quite a bit when he is home and anytime we have big huge messes like this if he is home he definitely comes in here and starts helping me out because we all make the mess and I think it's really important to just have everyone kind of pitch in a little bit of course I do tend to do a majority of the cleaning in our house but it really does make a big difference if you can get your family on board to help you out a little bit So once we had all the dishes curled in the same area and I had the dishwasher started, I just wanted to start soaking the rest of the dishes that I was going to be washing by hand. And that way I would just make the whole process a lot easier. Instead of having to scrub everything, I could just clean it really easy. So these are really, really neat. I actually ordered these on Amazon, so I will have them saved in my Amazon favorites. But basically, they can replace plastic wrap. They come in a ton of different sizes, but they just go over whatever shape, whatever size bowl you have or dish you have, and you don't need a lid for it. You don't need plastic wrap. And it's also pretty leak-proof. I haven't ever had these leak, so these are definitely a good option. If you are always losing your lids or you just want another option that's not plastic wrap, these are a really good one to try. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. Yeah, you're glowing in the dark. Stop 
You guys always love when I share the real mess. There's nothing sugar-coated or anything. It is just what it is. So I hope that the real messes kind of motivate you a little bit more and just show you that we are all the same and we are all in this together and we can all just kind of tackle our areas together because although some things look perfect online, it is absolutely not that way. Things are messy, things are disorganized, things are just real and that is how it is for everyone. So I hope that you guys continue to enjoy the real mess and just the realness that I share in these videos. It's definitely a little hard to be vulnerable and share your imperfections with everyone but I think in the end it brings us a lot closer and it just creates a more stronger community and I'm so incredibly grateful for that and I'm so grateful for you guys. You're growing in the dark you save me when I was down but what you're doing has hurt me now cuz I've been in the fire line way too long I've been in the fire line way too long you hit me baby you shot me down my heart is bleeding I'm scarred for life cuz I've been in the fire line way too long you held me in the fire line way too long what you said is playing on repeat in my head baby you hurt me bad but that's all you do now that's all you do now you shut me down Once I got all the dishes cleaned, I just let them sit over there to kind of let them air dry a little bit. And while they were doing that, then I took my e-cloth and I just started wiping down my countertop. I feel like I've been using my e-cloth a lot lately. Like I always use it, but I feel like I've just been sharing it a lot. And I think that's just because during the busyness of the holiday season, I am just trying to take things as easy as I can and e-cloths definitely make my life easier because it just uses water and so all I have to do is just rinse it out sometimes and then just wipe everything down and you are good to go. You know I thought you saved me when I was down But what you're doing is hurting me now Cause I've been in the fire line way too long Yeah, I've been in the fire line way too long What you said is playing on repeat in my head Baby, you hurt me bad But that's all you do now, that's all you do now You shut me down Next, once the kitchen was all clean, I just had everyone come into the living room with me and help me out in here. So as you can see, Noah was actually passed out on the couch. He was so exhausted from the day. And then Liam was upstairs getting dressed after his bath, but the rest of us just started tidying everything up and then Kyle and I kind of tackled the floors together and it made me wish that we could do this all the time because it went so much faster. Like he just went right behind me as I vacuumed, he mopped. It just got done so, so quickly. And I've also been getting a ton of questions from you guys whether I have been liking my Dyson cordless vacuum or my new Shark Apex Uplight, which is a corded vacuum. And it's really hard to say which one I like more, but I will say that most of the time, 
I have been finding myself actually using the Shark Uplight a lot more often than my Dyson. And I think it's because while the Dyson is extremely convenient because it is cordless, the Shark just has so much power. And so especially if I'm going to be vacuuming carpets and things, or if I'm gonna be doing like a whole house vacuum, I will definitely go for the Shark. But if I'm just doing a quick vacuum, then sometimes I'll still use my Dyson. So I do still use both and I do still love both, but I kind of feel like I'm changing over and doing a Shark Girl. I just have been so impressed with that vacuum. I never thought breakups were pretty. You told a lie, I let you go. You started the words that I completed. But that was then, so long ago I told you then, like I see now That we were golden Now you're not here, you brought us down I told you so so now I wanted to start tidying up my office and actually putting a Christmas tree in here and just kind of changing up the room a little bit. So this was a few days later, but I really need your guys' opinion on this. I know a lot of you guys have told me to go ahead and move the couch back to where I had it on this main wall. And while I do feel like it kind of goes there, it just feels so crowded in the room. So if you guys have any ideas on where I can put different furniture pieces, let me know in the comments because I feel like I'm kind of at a loss for this room. I'm just trying to get it to feel good and look good at the same time. much change I met a girl and she's quite funny but I'm not quite there so once we had all the furniture moved around and some of the wall pieces taken down if they didn't really go then we started pulling out our Christmas tree and I'm actually teaming up with Homestarry for this video they have sent me this Christmas tree and I have been so impressed with it the setup on it was so incredibly easy as you can see it's also pre-lit which makes it really really pretty and also just super convenient if you don't have the time or other lights to add to your Christmas tree and once we got it all fluffed out it was just really full and such a gorgeous tree I am loving this one. They also shared a really good coupon code so I wanted to let you guys know that and I will be leaving that down in the description box for you guys. And then next I did want to add a few of our own lights to the tree. These were Luke's favorite. They were really neat because they're actually a USB corded one so you can plug them into anywhere you have a power source and they have a ton of different colors and a ton of different modes so you can kind of customize it to whatever you want and also all of the lights do come with a remote which makes it super convenient as well. And then as you can see we ended up taking those lights off just because of how I wanted to decorate this tree. I felt like the colored ones just didn't really go as well. And so I wanted a more softer look and so I went with the warm lights and these ones are probably honestly my favorite and I think it's just such a gorgeous soft color. These ones are battery powered and this one actually comes in a pack of four so you'd be able to put them on your tree, put them somewhere else in your house. You can just kind of use them all over the place. They also have a bunch of different options on like if you want them to sparkle or twinkle or kind of fade in and out or just be a constant. I just love the different options that these ones give you. So while I'm talking to you guys about the different lights they offer, I wanted to share another one. These ones are Kyle's favorite. They are 80 feet long, so they are super, super long. And they are also waterproof, so they are perfect to be put outdoors. Honestly, I feel like these lights are all really cool because they just have a lot of different options. So if you want the colors, you can go for the colors. If you want just the white, you can also do that. And so kind of whatever theme you have, or if you're changing your themes each year, these lights are something that you can have each year and you don't have to keep buying new colors and new lights. And then the very last set I think was all of the kids' favorite because these were another set of the colored lights. These ones are nice because they are battery powered and they can also go on a timer and a lot of these lights actually can go on timers as well. And so they can just turn on whenever you want and then they will turn off a little bit later. These ones were really fun and whimsical and I love just kind of using them by the kids' room. So like I said, Homestarry is offering you guys a super good discount. So I will leave the links and the coupon codes down in the description box below for you guys to check out. I think that I'm going to hiding somewhere by a gate. 
So once we had all of our lights on our tree and everything, I ended up just putting this little garland on. I got this from Hobby Lobby and I just thought it was so gorgeous and so simple and kind of that rustic look that I've been going for. And then Luke and I were going to put all the bells on the tree, but I realized that we had picked them up from our storage unit and they were still in Kyle's truck, which he had took to work that night. And so we had to wait until later to actually end up decorating the Christmas tree. So while we were waiting, I ended up lining the banister with the garland. And then these are actually the cool lights that I was talking about earlier. And I'm kind of planning to do like a candy cane tree in our living room. I thought that would be really fun for the kids. And then I will end up sharing our main Christmas tree and like the rest of our Christmas decor in next video. So make sure that you are subscribed because I'm so excited to share how everything ends up turning out. I am just getting so, so excited for this. Finally, after Kyle had gotten home, Luke and I started decorating the tree. While I would love to have a Pinterest-worthy tree, just like totally perfect and styled really well, I feel like Christmas time is just so magical and a lot of the things that make it really magical is just the experiences that you have with your family and then just having everyone together during that time and so that is something that has been always so important to me so I know that there will be a time when my boys don't really want to be included in this type of thing and then I will get the chance to have my perfect tree but for now I'm just enjoying like the little imperfections that comes when you're decorating with kids because I feel like that's kind of what it's all about. Some gates never get to open cause it's too late I could be the one who saves you from this place Baby, they ain't never gonna find I really hope you guys enjoyed just seeing like all the decorating and the new tree going up and also got a ton of cleaning motivation towards the beginning of the video. And I also wish for you that you have the most amazing holidays and I cannot wait to chat with you guys in the comments. Okay, so I am in our basement. I wanted to quickly show you guys an update. It is looking so different from the last time you guys saw it. We have actual walls. There is no longer studs. We got all the drywall put on. It's mud and taped. The ceiling is all textured. It will be getting textured on the walls this weekend, but I'm gonna take you guys around. It looks so, so different. It is like for real. A basement now I don't know it just this is like a huge step so I'm gonna take you guys around and show you so this is where you just walk in from the stairs you turn right and this is the first bedroom this is just kind of a smaller bedroom and then you have the closet there and then you have this big opening right here I love that like these pillars and stuff kind of match and mimic like the architecture upstairs so right in this room, you just have, I think we're gonna have like a game room kind of, and then this we will have the two bunk beds that way, and then two bunk beds that way. This is the main area. So we're gonna have like the projector and everything here, and then like a couch this way. And there's the stairway that goes along the entire way. Look at how different that looks. We have our stairway going up into here. So when you walk into the bathroom, we will have a vanity here, just a one sink vanity, and then the toilet, and then this is like a half wall into the shower right here. Coming out of the bathroom, you go into this room. This is gonna be Luke's room. So it's a really good size room. I think we're gonna put his bed right here. I just cannot get over like how good it looks with all of the drywall and everything up. This is going to just be like, a little walk-in closet right there. Coming back out of Luke's room, you walk into what will be Liam's room. 
and there it is with all the drywall on and there's his closet of course this is how everything is looking with all the drywall and we just cannot get over it it just it's like our vision is just coming to life and i just cannot believe it so anyway i just figured i would go ahead and show you guys because you guys are always asking like where we're at with the basement and i also wanted to say next time we will be painting maybe even like the next week or two we'll probably be painting down here and we're actually thinking that we're going to end up painting it the same color as upstairs just because we love it so much and it's kind of like a grayish tannish color it's like the best of both worlds and it's also really light and neutral so i think that's what we're gonna end up doing but we could always change our mind we'll start getting like the fixtures put up and everything and then we'll be down to like floors so it's getting real and we are definitely on track to finish pretty soon so i can't wait that is all i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys